Why don't you worship the God of Jesus like the way he did? You you know in the garden of Gethsemane, he, he, he went and Jesus prayed. Jesus is here. But in our midst. What color is he? The Bible says. Let's see if you can see him. And the three are gathered in his midst. He is there. Can you see him? God. Therefore, Jesus and God are not one and the same. Jesus. No, he didn't say just my father. He said my God. Jesus clearly worships God in the Bible. Jesus said, but concerning the don't stick to the fathers, meaning the day of judgment, no one knows, not even the angels, nor the Son, but the Father. But when he says my God, means what? When Jesus says my God, means what? If Jesus doesn't know the day of judgment, when it is, how is Jesus God and God one the same? Are you saying that when he because said, my God, was he not God at that time? Saying that Jesus is not God, but he's not Was the Jesus fully God, God at that time? But looking at all the evidence together, God Jesus man. cannot be God. Yeah. It's okay, God I think they're gone. <laughs> he made you. Was Jesus, when he said, my God, God was he fully God? Made you. I agree. Did Jesus, when he was fully God, did he say, I go to my God? Answer that question. Yes, and your God. Yes. So I have a God, and Jesus has a God, and our God is one and the same. I, told I totally you. agree with you. I told you he speak as a man, like a man. No, but you don't believe he's just a man. You believe he's a God as well. Am I right? He's God. Exactly. So how can God have a God? Think about it. God has given you. God has given you intellect. Try to use How many it. God you talking about? Exactly. I'm only talking about one. How many are you talking about? I'm talking about one. Okay. Who's the one? The one that Jesus called. Christ. Jesus Christ is so God. if Jesus Christ is God, why did he say, I have a God? Sorry. Why? Sorry. I go to my God. Why did he say that? He's making a statement. Does the statement have a meaning? He is the meaning. His meaning Jesus is. is okay, the meaning. what is the meaning of the statement of Jesus, your God, when he said, I go to my God? Does Jesus have a God? Answer that question. He is God. No, that wasn't my question. Does Jesus, your God, have a God? He speaks as a man. That's so, all I can say. so he's only a man? No, he speaks like a man. Because what do you mean speak? What do you mean speak like a man? Okay. Oh, you feel important? It's okay. <laughs> he's an important man today. It's, okay. it's my mic. It's my mic. It's all right. If he doesn't want it, don't don't no. force it on him. If he doesn't want it, that's fine. Okay. So you say Jesus. The mic. The mic. Right here. Okay, that's good. And he's powerful and he's electrical. And yet he died by his own creation. How can God die by his own creation? How he died by his own creation? Yes, who killed him? Who killed your God? On the cross. He made it that way so that he can forgive your sins by shedding his blood. Who killed him? That was the question. No, no, no. He came to be killed. Can God be killed? Jesus being killed because he came to be killed. Can God be to killed? Shed the blood so that you can be forgiven for your sins. That was a, I didn't ask you why he got killed. That is the, that is see, the answer to the question. But the, my question wasn't why he was killed. My question was can God be because killed? Because he came. So you're saying when God says in 1 Timothy, listen to this, your Bible. In 1 Timothy 6.16, God says that he alone is immortal who lives in unapproachable light, whom no man has seen or can see. If God says that he alone is immortal, means he cannot be, he, he doesn't die. He's not subject to death. If God tells you that he cannot die, who are you to say that he died by his own creation? But he came in, come in a man. Only as a man? Are you sure? He came in a man. Then you're a Muslim like then, us. Then you can see we Muslims believe that Jesus came only as a man. Do you believe that? He came only as a man. Do you believe that? He came in a man. Yes, so he came only as a man. He was not God at all when he came to earth. Do you agree with that? God. Ah, all exactly. God. So if he was God, then God he goes against the nature of God, which is immortal. You must understand the scripture very well. Explain to me. Go God made man in his own image. That was Adam. And how are you going to put it? That was Adam. God made man in his own image, that was Adam. Right. Yes? Yeah, Adam. Is Adam God? No. Whose image was he? God image. Yes. Whose image was Jesus? He is God. No, he didn't say he was God. He died, remember? God doesn't die. I already told you this. You are saying Jesus don't say that he is God, right? Jesus never said he was God. Show me where. 
Oh, Jesus don't say that he is God. Show me. I challenge you or any Christian or non-Christian to show me where Jesus explicitly said he was God. Go on. Listen. Are you going to answer that question? That question yeah, have you got the Bible on you? Show it to me. Go on. That question will answered thousands of times. Go on. Make it thousand and one. By, uh, many times. Make it thousand and one. Go on. But listen. The reason you cannot answer is because you know Jesus never said that. Listen. The reason you're making listen. this statement is been answered thousands of times shows to us that you are insincere no, when you make such a statement. If I, even answer, if I even go back to the scripture and show you, the scripture is straight. You're still going to go back over the same thing. I'll tell you what. So I'm not going to move. I'm Pro not going to move prove to me over. and for all the viewers that Jesus actually said he was God. Go on. Prove it to us. If you cannot, then you are only telling us lies. Now it is up to you to defend your honor that you are a man of sincerity and telling the truth. Defend your honor that you are a truthful man. Point about it. Are you going to prove this to us that he claimed to be God or you're not? Going over the same story every time and every time. Don't make no sense. So you cannot prove it to us, am I right? That's the reason you're going into this emotional all arguments. Have, all and all you have to do. Are you going to prove it to us or not? Understand the whole matter. Yeah, go on. What do you have to do? You have to accept Jesus Christ. As what? As you say. What savior? He couldn't save himself. All right. That's <laughs> he his, couldn't save himself. From the, from the people who killed him. You are according saying to your the belief. same thing like the other people. Which other people? Jesus himself. Truth. Look, Jesus says, I by myself can do nothing. John chapter 5 verse 30. Did Jesus say that I by myself can do nothing? Does that sound like God yes. to you? Yes, he said that. Can God not do anything? Because he was a man. You keep saying he was a man. I agree no, with you. He a man. So when was he God then? Every time he was a man. When was he God? When was he God? Yeah, when was he ever God? You said he was a God. When? Okay. When he died? When he said he can't do anything by himself? Where is he when now? he says he doesn't no, know the hour? Okay. Question for question. Where is he now? Where is, is he now? Where is he now? Yeah. How does that prove that he's God? How is he Where is Elijah now? Elijah, where is he now? Huh, sir? Elijah is not God. I didn't say he was God. I asked you, where is he now? No, I'm only telling no, no, I'm, I'm getting I'm to you at the same you point. Elijah is not God. I didn't say he was. But Jesus is God. Jesus never claimed he was God. Show us the evidence if he did. Have, Jesus I said, have, have listen, this, listen, listen. I have so much evidence. But give me one. I'm give me one. Gonna just go. Of course you don't have evidence. Otherwise you'd have shown us by now. The reason you're struggling, you see, you see, you're the reason you're struggling you're, to find even one verse where Jesus you're, explicitly you're looking, said that he was you're God for is because... You're looking for problem. What problem? Problem. I, have no, your I don't think I have a problem with Jesus not being a God. I have a problem when you, you misinform have, people that he claimed to be God when he did not. Do you know God? Do I know God? Yes. I know that much of God what he revealed to me. You know what he revealed to you? I know that he's one. Oh, look, I know him. I know that he's one, look, not I, three. Look, look, I know him. You know him? Yeah. Yes? Jesus said, if you see me, you see the Father. Guys, listen, he said he knows God. Let me ask him a simple question. What is the name of God? Jesus. The Father? You have a Bible? What is the name of the you Father? Want to read one scripture? Tell me the name of the Father. One scripture. No, are you going to ask? I'm you see, he doesn't answer any questions. That's the thing. I'm going to he give keeps you, jumping to different points no, I'm every time. I'm going to give you one scripture. Okay, give me one scripture. The I name have, of the Father. I'm going to let you the read name it. of the Holy Spirit. I'm, I'm Go on, let's see if you can do that. I'm going to let you read it for yourself. Well, I'm going to let you and I left you. After I left, I'm going to give you one. Oh, you're going to leave after that. So he's going to do a hit and run, which he normally does. No, I'm just going to give you one stick and I left you. You said you know God. At least you should know his name. Come on. Show me the name of the Father in the New Testament. What are you going to read? John 1 1? Read that. You read it, you got glasses read on. I don't have my glasses on. Read it for me. All right. Jesus right. said in St. John's 5 and verse 43, I am come in my Father's name. Which was? John 5, 43. What was the name of the Father? I am come in my Father's name. Which was what? And you receive me not. Jesus said, I am come in my father's name. Which was what? You don't know his name, do you? 
You see, this is the point Jesus I'm said, trying to make. Jesus said, you come in his father's Yes, name. I know. I've heard it, three, it? I've heard it three times. What but you it? still don't know what name that was. What you see, my God has given me 99 names. All right. The Muslims his, have been his, given. His father's name don't is talk Jesus. over me. I didn't talk over you. I asked you a question. His father's name Wait is Jesus. Wait a minute. Wait, his father's name cannot be Jesus. <laughs> because Jesus is not the father. As a Christian, yes, you should know he's that. The father. He's the father. Then you are a heretic according to Christian belief. Because the Christians believe the Father is not the Son and the Son is not the Holy Spirit. Each of them are distinct from the other. This is very clearly is mentioned the, in the creed. The, what is the name of the Holy Spirit? You don't have it. Then if you're asking, no. the, Holy, if you're asking the Muslim... What is the name of the Holy okay, Spirit? Are you asking me from the Muslim perspective? Yeah. Okay. In the Quran, Allah says, Ruhul Quddus, that is Jibreel alayhi salam. That is the name. His name is Jibreel. The other thing is... Gabriel, God, Gabriel, God, wait, Gabriel, wait, wait Gabriel, a minute, wait a minute. Gabriel is the Holy Spirit. Hold on, you ask me from the Islamic perspective? All yes, right, it is. Okay. From the Quran, we know that Asma'ul Husna, you as a Christian should know this. Asma'ul Husna means the beautiful names of Allah, and Allah has given us 99 names. Have the Christians ever been given the name of God? Do you know the name of God? What is the name of God? Ru? Where is it in the Bible? Where does it say? Jesus. Show me one place in the New yeah, Testament. In his yes. name. Sorry, what did he say the name was? Ruh, Ruh, Ruh. Is, Just Ruh. His name. So he's saying the spirit. the spirit. According to Arabic language, the Ruh means the spirit. And this spirit is a name. Can spirit ever be the name, name of anyone? Jesus. No, it's not. Spirit is not, not a name. Yes, Son is not a name. Father is not a name. These are not the personal names of God. So the Christians have not been blessed with the name of God. Not even one oh, name. Oh, you know that not even is, one name. Oh, you know that Father is not a name. Father is not a name. All right. Thank you. You know that Father is not a name. Yeah, go and find out if the Father is a name. Oh, Son is not a name either. Son is not a name either. Do you know what a name is? A name. Jesus is a name. A name is a proper noun. Jesus is a name. So find out the there proper is noun. There a name under the heaven yeah. given among men whereby you must be saved. Yeah, you're shouting in my There is no okay. other name. Look, Jesus. If you don't if you go Jesus to the, Christ, yes. you have no life in you. That's not true at all. Jesus you said, I have many things to tell you now. You cannot bear no, them. He, God. the paraclete, will come and bleed you into all the truth. If Jesus was all the truth, then why is he telling somebody else will come and lead you into all the truth? Doesn't make sense, does it? It only makes the sense Spirit. if Jesus, if the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Okay, tell me one thing that the Holy Spirit brought to you which Jesus did not already bring. Give me one thing. Let's see. One thing that one thing that the Holy Spirit brought new to you, which Jesus did not already bring. <laughs> Everything. Give me one thing. That Jesus didn't, didn't bring. Oh, now He's you want to be on the camera because God, earlier you said God, he didn't. God is a spirit, <laughs> and they were they were to him. Yeah, is but the spirit is not a name. You should know that. Spirit, spirit is not a name. This is why when the people ask Muhammad, tell us what's the ruh. He said, I, read, I give you the answer no, in 14 no, no, no. days. No, never no, no, no. Ruh. Allah says in the Quran, no one has the knowledge know. of the ruh. You don't know what's the God. You haven't read the Quran. Muhammad never know what's the meaning. Are you going to answer the question? He's, 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 he's a statue. He's okay. praying to statue. Are you going to run away? Hit and run? Okay, another Christian. There you go. You see, this is what happens. They don't want to know the truth. So they come, Jesus they hit, and they run away. Jesus is the name. It's the name. Jesus is the name. Go 2,000 years ago and shout Jesus. No one is going to respond. Jesus is the name. 2,000 years ago, if you went out in, in Jerusalem, among men, and nearby we was the same. You know, Jer Jesus is, is a no made-up name. name. It is, is a Latinized no form. Jesus said, I am come in my Father's name, and you receive me now. And what is the Father's name? Jesus. <laughs> you see what I mean? Unfortunately, this is what we are dealing with. Right. So, so yeah. Jesus is the name, and the Father's name is also Jesus. What's the Holy Spirit's name? Jesus. There he goes. And that's how we get three in one. Three in one name called Jesus. When was, Ask me who is the Holy Ghost. What is the, What is? How do you say God? Ask me who is the Holy Ghost name. Who's the Holy Ghost name? I just did. Oh, you asked? Oh, you didn't? I told you Jesus, right? You told me Jesus, yes. All right. Uh, we're, first of all, we you apologize for that. Anyway, anyway, look, <laughs> the, the important thing is this. We have been given, uh, as Muslims, you, have it? you think you have it? As no, Muslims, no. we have been given 99 no, names of Allah. It. Yes? You lose. But the Christians haven't been given a single that name. Is the Holy Spirit. Not a single name. Even the Jewish people, have ask them what is the name of God. Have you received the Holy yes? Spirit? They will not say have Yahweh, you the because Holy that Spirit. is a tetragrammaton. We, I don't want to be possessed by ghosts, so please don't get oh, the Holy Spirit on me. Yes. Well, you are the ghost. Am oh, I the ghost? Oh. Can you see me? You are the ghost. Can you see me? I have ghosts. I'm ghost. What's the difference? Ghost, a ghost is a dead zombie. 
that dead. He's yes. been watching Casper, the friend exactly. of God. Uh, that don't have God. That's evil voice. Is that in the Bible? Zombies? Yes, I think there's a story about zombies. Remember in the in the uh, in the Gospel of Matthew, dead people yes? that he have saw demons he saw hundreds of these zombies dead coming out from the graves. And guess and what? Of Christ Mark never wrote about it. Luke never wrote about it, and John never wrote about it. So all these zombies that came out from the graves, no one except Matthew wrote about it. Okay? How can all these people miss out such an event? And only one person wrote it. Dead people that dead without Christ, they are demons. Who are demons? Dead people that yeah. dead without God, they are demons. Okay. Is that in the Bible? Or is I that something you made up? A is that something you made up or is that in the Bible? The you made it up, right? It's not in the Bible. Everything you preach is not in the Bible. Why? Why do you hold the Bible then? <laughs> Put it on the shelf. Because everything I told you from the Bible, you rejected. I asked you, when God tells you, I by myself can do nothing, does that sound like God to you? When Jesus in John 5.30 says, I by myself can do nothing. As I hear, I obey. Whom is he obeying? He's God. When you. Jesus says, I go to my, I my father and your father, I my you. God and your God, which God is he saying he goes to? Again, I he's God. He speak like a man. What do you mean like speak man. like a man? man? So when did he ever speak he like a come, God? He came he come in a man. Was he zero percent God when he came as a man? He came in a man. Yeah. When he came as a man, was he zero percent God? He was from the beginning. God from okay. the beginning. So he was hundred percent God? But he just transformed into a man. Am I right? According to you, he's hundred percent God. All so this hundred percent God is telling you, I go to my God. All the How many gods have you got now? He is God from the beginning. Two, and then they have another Jesus one missing called Holy Spirit. He is God from the beginning. He cannot be God from the beginning. If he was, no, you could make your subject. Okay, when he was in Mary's womb, was he God? Yes. Yes. So a woman gave birth to God. Yes. So who was feeding? Who was feeding him in the? Who Mary? I don't want to go there. No, honestly, look. Who at the end of the day, Mary? it is absurd to believe. Who made Mary? Who made Mary? That does not make sense. No, I asked you. Who no, made no. Actually, Mary? tell him. Tell him. God made Mary. But God was inside the womb. So how can he make Mary? That's why Mary created. So who made Mary? Jesus made Mary. Yeah, what about Adam? What about Adam? No, no, wait, 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 wait. Ask him. Did Jesus make no, Mary? Ignorant, Did Jesus make Mary? Did Jesus make Mary? Yes. Yes. Who yes. made? Who made? Je who made Mary pregnant? Who made her pregnant? Explain that. You don't know what pregnant means? How old are you? No, yeah, explain it. Explain, explain what? I'm asking you, very simple. Who made Mary pregnant? Because if you think you could turn me into a fool, you can't. Sorry, turn you into what? A fool, you cannot. Why would I turn you into a fool? You are trying to. Why would you feel that way? You are trying to. Why would you feel you are a fool? Why? And you cannot turn me into a fool. I won't turn you into a fool. I don't want to turn you into a fool. Okay? But the important thing is this, Mary did get pregnant, yes? Because God, yes, Mary got pregnant. Who made her pregnant? Uh, Jesus. Tell, tell Jesus, them. because tell. according to you, the Father is Jesus, the Holy Spirit is tell Jesus, them. and the Son is Jesus. Tell so them. according to you, tell them her. Jesus made tell his them. own mother pregnant. Unfortunately, that is the case for you. I'm that means he committed incest. Your God made his own mother pregnant. Does that make sense to you? Oh, it gets worse, it gets worse. You see, that is <laughs> his, it is his story. No, it's, it's, you have no wisdom of God. No, no, no. Of course, I can never and have the wisdom of problem. God. I can never have the wisdom of God. His wisdom is way beyond because anyone else. God gave wisdom to man. Have he given you intellect? God gave it then to you. Then you should believe that if you believe the Father is Jesus, the Holy Spirit is Jesus, and Jesus is Jesus, of course then who made Mary pregnant? One of these Jesuses, right? Am I right? I'm not making you a fool. I'm asking you a question. Who made Mary pregnant? One of these Jesus. Who made your wife pregnant? Myself. Right. Good. Why are you insulted? Answer the question. Answer the Why question. are you insulted? No, 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 no. You can see there. Right. You insulted right. by what you Listen, you listen, listen. You insulted. You see? You see? Your listen, listen. Why did you? Listen, listen. Why, why did you bring my wife into this? Exactly. Yeah, because you got did, my, did I say my? Did my wife say I'm God? Or did I say my wife was God? But you're the one who says... Let's cut that out. No, no, you got to apologize. Will you? Okay, good. Don't do it again. Let's cut it out. Good. I accept your apology. I, should, but, but I shouldn't ask you, you about your wife. Yeah, you shouldn't have. Now, let me ask you about Mary. Who made Mary pregnant? Let me ask you once again. Because you're the one who believes God made her pregnant, right? You believe God made her pregnant. And according to you, God is Jesus. So Jesus made her pregnant. Do you accept that? Jesus made his own mother pregnant. How God make him pregnant? Her pregnant. Well, that's you. 
You yes. tell me, was she if pregnant or not? not? Was Jesus? You know what? If you know the answer, how God made him pregnant? Look, we are not interested in the how. All I'm asking no, is, no, no, did tell he? me, you, you seem you are wise. How God made Mary pregnant? After you answer my question, I'll answer yours. Yeah. No problem. Answer my question first. Who made her pregnant first? Let's say, decide that. Say you don't know. Not how. Who made Mary pregnant? Your God made Mary pregnant. Am I right? I believe my God made Mary pregnant. But you see, your God is Jesus. Who is your God? My God is the God of Jesus. But who is your God? Jesus, right? Yes. Who is the son of Mary? Also Jesus. Yeah. So the, the very person you believe is God made his own mother pregnant. You see, this is what breaks down Christianity because this is the absurdity you have to believe in, unfortunately. You know, many people will say Jesus was a man when he was born, but then they do not, no, but you are they, they not stop that. They say he's fully man and fully God. So this fully God the, 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 came out the point of the, is, this fully God. The point, wait, 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 the point wait, wait, wait. is you know too much. I know too much. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? He has so much problem. He know too much. I think I, I think that is something I bad thing for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Look, I don't want to make. I don't want to mock you. I don't want to mock you, you, don't don't to mock you because you are just contradicting yourself now. All I'm asking. Too much. All I'm asking. He knows too much and he don't know nothing. Yes, that's the contradiction he believes in. But anyway, so you're saying the same thing about Jesus. He's fully God. But then he's not no, a God. You think, see, you think you know it. Know you what? Know, but you don't know nothing. Look, okay, I don't know. Why don't you answer my question? Accept, you accept Jesus Christ in your life. Ah, and you're stuck with that mantra. He knows nothing. Uh, until and unless you believe yes. that mantra, yes. everything else is accept, nonsense. You accept Hello, Jesus Christ in your Jesus life and be saved. You know what? I accept Jesus Christ as my prophet and my Messiah. That's what more you want? That is your story. What story? You accept Jesus Christ as your prophet. What is your story that you, your God made his mother pregnant? That is I, your story. I accept Jesus Christ as my savior. Yeah, but do you also because, because he is God. Do you also accept that he And God is the only savior. Really? God is the only one that can save. He couldn't even save himself from the cross. Exactly. <laughs> How do you answer that? <laughs> he says, "My God, he said, "My God, my God, why have you forsaken that is, me? That, that is why the, have you abandoned me?" That is the power that you have. No, because that is what Jesus you said. You have the power of the devil. You see, that's the problem. You don't read the Bible. You, you think it's from the devil. The Bible actually says what I said. <laughs> the know, Bible, in the Bible, Jesus said on the cross, the My God, no, my God, Elahi, Elahi, Lameh Sabachthani. He said it in Aramaic. What does it mean? It means, My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? This is your God saying to his God, Why have you abandoned me? Is that, is that from the devil? Is it from the devil? You see, the reason if you have read your Bible and you understood it, you would have had answers to these questions. The reason you're struggling with these questions is because you don't actually read your Bible. All you're saying is accept Jesus as your savior and that's it. That line is the only thing you remember. If you don't accept him, you're lost. But I do accept him as my Messiah. I accept him as my prophet. You I accept are, him as my messenger. What more you want? You accept him as your, as your messenger. I do not accept are anything not, about Jesus not, which he didn't say. I'm not going to be saved. How? You're going to hell. How do you know? How do you know? Wait, 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 wait. What does the Bible say? Because, Thou shalt not judge. Because, because you don't accept Jesus Christ. You see, as you're if you believed in Jesus, you are going to hell because you don't accept Jesus Christ. That's fine. As you can say anything you want. That's your opinion. Right, that's okay. But you know, if you believed what Jesus I said, I responsible. Listen, do you actually accept what, what Jesus what said? Else? In your Bible, Jesus says, "Thou shalt not judge." What does it mean? I don't judge you. You just did. You, <laughs> you condemn me to hell. That is called judgment. Let's reserve the judgment for the day of judgment, not today. Okay? You're neither God nor a messenger to judge anyone. And Jesus in your Bible says, remove the log from your eyes first. Yes? Then look at the speck into, in the other people's eyes. That's the reason I keep telling you, you do not read your Bible. If you read your Bible, you wouldn't be judging me. You wouldn't be committing the sin that Jesus told you not to commit. No. Think twice. Think twice where you believe in. Think twice. Stick to your Bible. You if you read it, you don't accept Jesus Christ as your savior. You are lost. Where does it say that? Show me in the Bible where it says that. If you don't accept Him as your savior, you're lost. Show me. You see, everything you say is not from the Bible. I, I read many. I read many scriptures to you. You keep saying you haven't read a single scripture so far. And I, I'm gonna My friend, read, you haven't I'm read gonna, a single I'm scripture. Gonna, I'm gonna read them over many more times. You still haven't read a single scripture to show me why Jesus claimed to be God. Not a single, you said there are thousands in the Bible, but not even one you can show. If I even read the Bible from 
Genesis, Genesis to Revelation. Revelation. Yes. You'll still find gonna, it. You're still going to have Paul to find. You read it, right? I said you're going to still have Paul. Have you read to it? Find. Have you read from Genesis to Revelation? So I don't Have you read it from Ge no sense. Have you read it from Genesis to Revelation? Yes. Show me one place from the Genesis to Revelation where it says man will be God. I will show you in the Bible where it says man is not a God. Are you making up that? No, I'm asking you that. You are making it's a, a new, question. You are making a new scripture. No, it's not. It's a question, not a statement. That man will be God. Yeah, show me from your Bible I never read where that man. To you. No, that man is God. Yeah, oh, so Jesus wasn't God because you kept saying he was man. Now you're going and believing what actually the Muslims believe. Finally, you're coming through. Alhamdulillah. So you believe ma man can never be God. Do you agree? I'm talking about you. What about me? You are not God. I'm talking about you. When did I say I was? No. Read Numbers 23, 19. In Numbers 23, 19, he says, man is not a God and he doesn't lie. What Jesus said, what? that's proof. Yeah, he never said he was God. He said he had a God. So that is the truth. You're right. Jesus had a God. Do you believe that? Do you believe what Jesus says when he says, I go to my God and your God? Do you believe that? Jesus said he had a God. Yeah. How many God? Is Only there? one. Yeshua? Only one, yes. Yeshua? Yes, I'm sure. And it wasn't Yeshua. Yeshua. It wasn't Yeshua. Yeshua I'm sure it wasn't Yeshua. Yeshua is only one God. You sure? You're not sure. How many times I have to tell you now? No, I'm asking. Do you want me to write it down for you? No. Yeah. Yes. 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 Write it down. For you. Okay. Yeshua. Give me, give me a pen and paper. Write it down Yeshua. for you. Yeshua. It says in the Quran, "Kul huwallahu Yeshua is ahad." One God? Say Allah is one. Yeshua is only one God. For the fourth time, yes. Okay. You want me to repeat a few more times? Jesus Christ is the one God. No, he never said that. <laughs> Jesus Christ had a God. You can argue from now until Judgment Day. Jesus Christ is the only one God. You can keep saying from now until Judgment Day, it still won't be coming true. Yes? Because unless and until you can show me that from the Bible, where Jesus claims to be God. That, I'm going to die that way. That's up to you. If you want to die in sin, it's up to you. But you think you'll be saved as a delusion. Because on the day of judgment, when you're standing in front of God and only one God, yes, Jesus right. will tell you, right. that is my God, not me. Yeah. What yes, you did then? What you did just then? like the way Jesus says in, have a in Matthew 7, you you have a problem. with what? With, with Jesus that, being with God? Yes. With that. Yes, because that's a lie problem. against Jesus. A that problem. is a lie against my Messiah and against my prophet and against my messenger, which you are attributing. You are lying against my messenger, Jesus Christ. Peace be upon him. Think hard, think hard. You don't accept Jesus Christ as your messenger. As my messenger. Yes, yes, yes. I do. Yes, yes. You do not. I, do. I wouldn't be a Muslim if I did, do did not if I reject him. You do not. That's up to you. You can keep saying that. The important not. thing is that in Matthew. You accept Muhammad as your messenger. And Muhammad accept Moses. Abra Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. You reject Jesus. That's a lie. You say he couldn't serve himself. He couldn't. Yeah, he couldn't. He died, did he not? <laughs> According to you. You say to that you. Jesus couldn't save himself. He couldn't. He died, right? Because you killed him. I killed him. <laughs> now he's lost it. I can't go home. Now. Of course you can go home now. Please I go. Can't go home. It's time. You it's, Jesus. it's time for your medication. Unfortunately, if you keep if you if you keep making false allegations on people that I killed Jesus, then you really have got something mentally disturbing you. Uh, anyway, look. At the end of the day, Jesus. Well, I would advise you to repent and turn your life over. Yes, I, I advise you to re believe. Ask Jesus Christ to come repent, into your repent, life, God, and you shall be saved. That's easy tactics. Easy tactics. You shall be saved. Why don't you worship the God of Jesus like the way He did? You you know, in the garden of Gethsemane, He he, he went and Jesus prayed. Jesus is here. Where? In our midst. What color is he? The Bible says. Let's see if you can you see him. And the three are gathered in his midst. He is there. Can you see him? Can you see Jesus? Hello? Can you see him? He's confused. Can you see? You said he's here. Can you see him? Can you see him in spirit? In spirit? Ah, how do you know he's in spirit? Maybe it's the unholy God spirit you're spirit. feeling. God is a spirit. Only the unholy spirit will tell you to worship God a man is, as God. God is a spirit. God is a spirit. Right. And? How do you seek God? How do I seek God? Okay. We saw him in the cross. Yeah. Just how, how do you seek I'll answer you, yes. Just like the way Jesus did. I prostrate to God. You, you, you don't know how the way Jesus did. Yes, he did. It's in the Bible. You can't reject him. I don't reject him. That's a lie. How do you seek God? Do you prostrate to God? Yeah. Do you prostrate to God like you the way Jesus did? You reject Jesus Christ. No, I don't. 
Do you prostrate to the God of Jesus like the way Jesus did? Or do you reject it? You see, this is this what is what we do. What you the are Christians, what you are trying to yeah. do, say you prostrate yourself. Yeah, like the way Jesus did. Remember you did that in the garden? You are just doing that as a farm. As a what? A farm. A farm of godliness and denying the truth. So so you don't follow